I remember he, the story you told me how he came across it. Well, like, Alaskan Thunderfuck is probably related to Northern Lights, right? Yeah. Because Northern Lights is from the so. Alaska. Oh, me alone. You know, they can see, oh. they're going to, yeah, it's gone. Okay, okay. Uh, they're going to see the Northern Lights in New York this year. Oh, I would reason. love to see that, bro. So, I wonder if that's because of bro, the planets. Yeah. I think that's one of the things I love to see. You know, when, when, in Colorado, I saw mountains, and I, and that, that's one of the things I love to see before I die. You know, beautiful mountain landscape right live in front of you, you know what I'm saying? And I think another one would be to see the aurora borealis like live you know that's what they're calling yeah do you even know what episode this is is it called the... this is all right so i i guess it's technically 31 because the harry potter episode would have been 31 but it's a one-off mm -hmm. so this is episode 31 of the ipod and we have northern lights we'll oh, call we, it northern lights we're say, we call it, I gotta, we're, we're, yeah because i don't even know what strain the flower is wait you don't know uh i think it was the cookies oh the animal cookies it's either animal cookies or uh Rape? or nah it was blue oyster. blue oyster yeah so we'll just go northern lights <laughs> all right all right we're gonna hit the northern lights for this episode and this is actually we're, we're, this this episode is also kind of on on one topic it's gonna be the uh the episode let's do the bible i don't know i don't know how we're gonna title this episode basically uh instances in the bible where you think that it might have been some like aliens yeah, in the Bible. Fuck it, fuck it. Let's just be real about and it. Aliens. aliens in the Bible? Question mark? Uh, 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 exclamation point. And if you're listening to the news lately, I mean, there's that ex-Israeli <laughs> dude. I mean, he's still an Israeli. Yeah, he's, I mean, ex ex he was ex-military. Yeah, he, really he, military. he said that um, <coughs> there's like a galactic federation, right? Basically, what he's talking about is what we learned about in about the Book of Urantia, in a way. You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of like I, I'm back and forth if I should believe him. And he's just trying to get clout. Yeah. I mean, some of the stuff he says is like, oh, it might it's legit. Yeah. But then he said that Trump knows about it. He was gonna release it, right? They stopped him at the last minute. Is what he said, yeah. Yeah. So we don't know, man. Maybe that's because we were talking about the 24th. There's gonna be a national holiday now. This whole episode, the <coughs> the cover of it should be that 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 meme. You know, got the hair. I know, aliens. All right. So, we're going to start this off by me stating a few instances in the Bible where I believe might have been aliens. Alright. Which, some could argue it was the whole Bible. Okay, okay. So, first of all, y'all remember Ezekiel? In the Bible, he saw the wheels. The wheel. He saw it spinning. Well, probably a spaceship that he saw there spinning in the sky, sirs. You know what I'm saying? So think about it. These are people who... They don't even know. They barely, you know. They, they think about what what exists in the world. Do you have? Because they don't know how to explain it, right? Yeah. Do you have uh, like the actual Ezekiel? We go look for it. Thing? I mean, but he talks about wheels. And, and you'll hear it wheels. even even in, in Enoch. In the sky. Remember in Enoch, he talks about wheels within wheels. You know mm. what I'm saying? That because they don't That's know how to describe what they're seeing. They don't I, know. I it. imagine that is like a yeah. saucer. Yeah, mm -hmm. metal didn't exist in their world back then. You know, fucking welding didn't exist back then. They they can't even imagine that a piece of metal would be in the sky. They didn't have welding, blacksmith. Well, not like those. I mean, that's not. Like, that's. But they they couldn't fly. Yeah, could fly. yeah. Like you you couldn't put together. They had a piece of metal in the sky yeah. back in those days. You know what I'm saying? There's like, a there, yeah. Bro. They see something spinning. That's a circle. That's a wheel. You know what I'm saying? Another one, obviously, when Moses went to the mountain to receive the plates, you know what I'm saying? Remember, he told everybody when he went up to the thing, he's like, if you come up here, you are going to die. And he, what he was meaning was radiation poisoning. Mm. What would give radiation poisoning? Why is he going all the way to the top of a mountain? <coughs> okay, yeah, come on, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. A higher intelligence come being. On, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Damn. Obviously, do you remember? Okay, so if, if these people, Moses, when he took his people out of Egypt and took them to the to the Promised Land and whatnot, remember they had to travel for was it forty days and forty years almost, right? Quote unquote. Mm. Okay, you're in a desert. How are, they were being guided by some kind of light or some way? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on. UFO. Don't don't. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. On. I'm just saying. <clears throat> All right. Let me see. Let me let me see. See see, see if you think. If you, you see any, but what they call it is the uh, the northern star, right? Mm -hmm. Supposedly, but he said it's a light in the sky. See, look, and remember, there's a command in the Bible that says the stars are not to be worshipped. Right. Some people say because that's because a lot of because 
the, the reality of it is a lot of the stars they were looking at were actually starships, like starships or spaceships. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then, you know, like also Saturn got worshipped and that turned into Saturnalia or whatever, right? And that became like mixed with Satan in a way. I mean, they were... The stars were worshipped. There's also, and this is in the Bible, where the sun stood still. That's what it said, the sun stood still. Now, this can't happen, you know what I'm saying? Because, well, you know, for that to happen, the world would have to stop. We would have to stop spinning, and that didn't happen. The light stopped because the light that was the sun was actually a starship. Mm. Damn, okay, yeah, I can't argue with that one. Like, the, the, you know, I'm trying to play devil's advocate. Okay. I'm trying to, like, combat it a little bit. You know, you one. have the story of Jesus. You know, you have when he was born. But we have a whole... Where were you when you were a young child, a teenager? Where were you when you were a young man? All of a sudden, you just showed up and got baptized... You were born, and then you showed up and got baptized by Paul. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, She's saying nah. he got abducted and was taught a bunch of stuff? Well, so, you know, some people might say that Jesus might not have been of this earth anyway. You That's know, he had, he had to go somewhere to learn all this knowledge he came back with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think about it, bro. There's, there's dudes on this earth that go meditate for, for, for years in the mountains by themselves. And don't even come back a better person. They come back bitter. They come back like just... Just these, like, very... very oh, well, that was a waste of time. Yeah. They don't yeah. really learn nothing yeah. and shit. But you, and you tell... And, and, you know, so, so you or tell, at the most, they'll just learn how to survive. Yeah. And so you're telling me that, that this guy in his teen... In his in his childhood years learned to just all of a sudden not get mad at people and be able to give loving lessons and heal and cure and get... And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't think so. It sounds to me like, yeah, what well, this guy was taken somewhere for initiation. Taken somewhere to be taught real knowledge about how, how, how things are. You know what I mean? Very interesting. Dark side of the moon, maybe. I mean, who knows? Some chick actually pointed out that if you look at how the moon, quote unquote, spins, it doesn't spin the way people say it's supposed to. It, it, it people, so people are like, oh, the moon is supposed to. Well, it always stays still, right? Mm, but we can't that, see the dark no, side. What, what they or say, it's like what, what the, this is what science says. Science says that we, that we in the moon, the us, Earth in the moon, have like the same fucking thing, and that we rotate in such a way that we can never see the back of her. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that we're in a, we're in a constant dance with the raw. That's that's what it says, right? But but this lady who who looked at the moon for 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 a whole year, she noticed one thing. She she, she took that one big spot you always see. And she noticed it doesn't ever move like like a globe. It just moves like it's a clock. Like it's flat or something. Like it's flat. Like what if it's a ship? You know what I'm saying? Or something. Yeah, I've heard that theory because it looks so unnatural. And then for Hezekiah, remember, he said the sun moved backwards. Once again, like I told you about the others, when the, when they say the sun it's stopped, impossible. it was a ship. It was just moving back, you know, it decided to move. You know what I mean? Because Superman wasn't out there spinning the sun. And then at the time of the crucifixion, the sun and the sky were darkened. It said that it was darkened. And then, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't know that. It wasn't exactly clouds that darkened that area. You know what I'm saying? Or an eclipse. Yeah, could have yeah, been an eclipse, but then that, that'd be a very big coincidence. And then the, it was said in the Bible too, the <laughs> thunder that was heard, the boom that was heard when they crucified him. You know, what if that wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, Damn. yeah, they were mad, bro. They were mad. It's we like, sent this dude to save y'all. Look what y'all did. And maybe that's why they haven't came back. Well, they tried to, but every time we do, look, look what happens to them. <laughs> Yeah, and then I wonder if there's like, there's a bunch of gay uh, aliens that like to probe people in the booty. I think... Or those are like the demon ones. I think that probably has to do with the adrenochrome thing. Oh. Uh, so there's probably like different kinds of entities, right? Grays and whatnot. Yeah, I believe there's different species of aliens. Right. That, I mean, it can't just be... And Earth. some are probably more peaceful than others. I would, I would believe so. I would believe that... Because I don't think Jesus would... Jesus and his kind yeah. would probe. Yeah. Cause, cause, I, cause I feel that one time I was told this. I was told that beings in the in the universe, like there's a law, right? You will be allowed to travel intergalactically and interdimensionally if once you've achieved that peace, once you've hit that, you know, once you've gotten past the level of yeah, awareness. Yeah, yeah, you know, once you've hit that fifth dimension of consciousness, you know, the other ones aren't allowed to. But the way that apparently what happened here on Earth is pretty interesting. Like it was some shady shit that went on. You know what I'm saying? Some. Some of the bad aliens that were on a warring planet, because that's what happens, you know. The, you know, if you decide to become a planet that wants to just war, 
then you you will be left in the lower 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 vibrations lower dimensions mm. and you will be allowed to war and never be allowed to leave your little your little vicinity there because you're too much of a threat to the rest of the universe go ahead blow yourself up but you're not going to blow up the rest of the universe what happened here is that these 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 pretty sharp aliens were on one of those planets but they figured out how to like teleport interdimensionally and guess what they teleported interdimensionally to? Earth. Here, Earth. And they started wreaking havoc here, making deals here. And, and all of a sudden, all kinds of laws are getting broken. You know what I'm saying? But that's the, the thing. Humanity you was, yeah, you know what? The one thing that pisses one off is you think that, well, they broke a law, so shouldn't the good side be able to break a law to do it? But then that would not, that would make the good guys the bad guys. So you see why it's like, well, well I guess we have to make this, this, this planet Earth somehow evolve to the fifth dimension in a way quicker amount of time than we planned. And it's going to cause a lot of havoc. But in the end, hopefully it'll work out for these people. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. Because it, <clears throat> when, when, when you look at the humanity, it seems like a long time, but really it's not a long time. It's pretty fast. Some people say that these beings, aliens, were the Aryans that first came after the ice melted, you know, back in, back, it was it? oof, oh man, you gotta, I gotta go to, our, I gotta, we gotta, gotta talk to archaeologists about that, but when the ice, ice caps melted, when the ice caps melted, the last time, yeah, because yeah. probably there's more than one ice age, yeah, right? yeah, the last time, the last time yeah. when, when all, when apparently all, when all these beings, all these dudes came and started warring around the planet, you know what I'm saying, some people say that, what caused that whole melting of ice was these dudes landing their ship here. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Heat and radiation. Yeah, yeah. It's, see, it's a pretty crazy story. So I wonder if that had anything to do with the dinosaurs too because the atmosphere changed. Like, you know my theory about the dinosaurs. Don't get me started on that Oh yeah, they shit. don't exist, right? Don't get me started. So, so what, wait, 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 so they're fake bones? I don't think that they don't exist. I just don't think that they're not, they're definitely not what, 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 what Well, they're birds. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In my in my opinion, they were never dinosaurs. They were never giant reptiles, but they were just giant ass birds. And then we talked about it too. Reptiles are usually slow. Yes. And there's there, there's been a history. But the the only reptile that's fast is the one with no legs and no hands. A snake. Think about that for a and second. You know, there's one snake that if you burn it, it has legs in it. I forgot what it's, I forgot which snake it was. That's pretty crazy. A viper or something. One particular, and I was like, whoa, from the that's Bible, pretty, you know. Crazy. Right? But uh. Oh, I say. It's also weird that we, our tail bones, that we're kind of, we have tails at first. Like, uh, Saiyans, what were the Saiyans, the original? Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the, the monkey the, ones? Yeah. Yeah. Kakarot. That's Dragon Ball Z reference for those that don't understand. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the theories that I've heard and, the, you know, about how shit is and, like, theories I just spit out right now, you know. It's pretty wild. That's, that's what Do you ever are. have sleep paralysis? Yeah, I used to have it a lot when I was young. Man, let me we, tell you, bro. And let me tell you what I read recently that, like, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. So, so I read, so, okay, I, I had that a lot as a kid. And I've always, as a kid, felt that this is not no regular thing. This ain't no fuck, whatever they say of R.E.M. This is, I feel like it's a demon trying to attack me. Right. Because the only way, and my mom taught me this as a child. She's like, when that happens to you, you need to cry, ask for Jesus Christ. Call out his name. Yet with all your might, yell, yell, if you can, in, in, in that state. Yell for Jesus Christ, and he and you know he will come, and it's worked every time. Mm. I'm telling you, it's worked. And then recently, I read that like that what what we we consider sleep paralysis. Some people actually say is actually a attempted alien abduction. You can't move anything. You can't feel, but you feel that there's something there. I'm good right now. My mom has it. My sister has it. That, you know what, bro? My aunt, one of my aunts in Mexico, and she told me this. She said that one time the same thing happened to her because my mom and my aunt have had both had dealt with sleep paralysis, so we've had kind of deep conversations about it. And my aunt one time, bro, she uh, she said, this is what she claims. She claims that one time she was having this sleep paralysis. She was in it, you know, sleep paralysis. Oh, shit, I can't move. I can't see. Blah, blah. But she tried with all her might. <coughs> she, 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 she was able to move her arm. And when she moved her arm to, to like to try to put it on her other arm, she felt like a hand there. Like like she said, this was not a human hand either. But as soon as she felt it, like the whole like boom boom, she woke up and that thing, you know, everything was disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Like that demon, like alien, a reptilian, alien something. <coughs> so do you think there's reptilians? Like is that an alien yeah, species? Yeah, yeah, Maybe I, they're the ones that have this whole I dinosaur legit, thing. Up there. I legit believe that. I believe. I legit believe that there's like legit reptilian entities somewhere around here. Some people say they're here on Earth and they're shapeshifters and this and that. I don't know. You like know. What, was, what was it that we were watching out of the shadows? David Ike. David Ike. Very mm -hmm. much. Very. No, much. but yeah, but he was talking about how that they're, they're that UK guy. 
yeah. But the kids would always see him change anyway. But uh, that's that's crazy about abduction. So uh, and the sleep paralysis. So that 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 means that it could be like those kind of entities, those negative, demonic, those type of aliens. And that's what that I would, shit. And that's the one thing, bro. I would just love like the universe. Like says you can ask one question. You can ask one question, and 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 and, and we'll answer. answer. I want to know this. Why do you allow what it seems to me to be innocent people? Who have nothing to do with anything allow them to this stuff to happen to them here on this planet you know what i'm saying what if it's like potter and it's just preparing them for something well then big. i'd like to know that because that is what i read one time i've read that after these people who have but i've also seen stories of some people that don't become stronger and don't become, become like weaker i have some people that become really sick for the rest of their lives bro because they were they were traumatized by the one or few times they've been abducted by aliens you know what i'm saying like right. like but you know what maybe they would say well this person was going to become a real piece of shit Either way, I'm, I mean, I mean, maybe they invited him. Maybe, to their life. maybe, right? Maybe, like you know, what I'm saying, like, like you don't know. They're gonna kill somebody but, if they didn't get abducted. But like, but some of the times, some some of the stuff you've heard, like I really feel bad for the people who like feel haunted by these experiences. You know what I'm saying? Who haven't overcome them? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like I remember, what, I remember when I realized I've overcome my fears. These one time, I, I, I it happened. I got sleep paralysis. I called out Jesus Christ's name and I was able to like get out of it. But I remember one thing I was also able to do, I was able to flick off, bro. I was, I was able to flip a middle finger. So like if you were right there trying to abduct me, you would have seen me crawl out Jesus' name and flip you off. Mm. That was the most powerful I've ever felt in my life, bro. Damn, when fist I, bump, man. When I came out, I flipped off. What the fuck you? Know they, what was saying? that? How recent was that? That was, uh, that was probably when I was like 16, bro. I was, uh, Did like, it happen again after that? Oh, yeah. I still oh, yeah. get it every once in a while. You know, I'm, I'm much better at managing because I know now what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's worked up until now, right? Jesus, you know, Jesus has my back up until now, right? You know what I'm saying? Man, I wonder why people can't tell me he ain't real and it's all about the intent i believe that whatever religion if you follow a religion where you believe in, in, a, in a certain person like if you like 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 if you read the quran and you, and you right. believe in the prophet Allah, muhammad uh, and you call out to muhammad or allah i believe that that'll it's the intention you know what i'm saying right that energy because remember jesus christ wasn't even his real name you know right. that was a name that was given to him after blah 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 you know after he died and everything by saul the traitor it's like calling jay-z jigger or something yeah you can it's say like it was so. one of his nicknames yeah that, that was given to him by other people you can say yeah it was one of his but aliens. the energy that yeah. behind it yeah but we, we 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 know what the name jesus christ means that's what, that's what we were taught as kids and grew mm -hmm. up you know when we first were introduced to, to to the individual you know we, we knew him as jesus christ Jesus Christ. you know what i mean yeah that's weird, bro. Also, the three wise men of the Bible, that's another one. Like, how do you think they were God? How do you think they knew exactly where to go? I mean, bro, this is... This is in the middle no, of nowhere. There was no invitation. No bro, remember, the king in that, in, 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 in where Jesus was born, he was killing all the boys. So there's no way these guys could have gotten any message that there's a boy born. Any message that gets out of a boy being born, he's going to get killed by the king. You know what I'm saying? So they knew exactly where to go, what manger to hit, and da 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 da, -da and blah. You think these guys? It's a, so the, not only that. You not only were they probably not led there by some fuck. They by. I mean, they were led star. there by a star. But well, it was well, a, a spaceship. Yeah. And or and what if this? What if they were in the fucking spaceship? Right. What if what, what if what if what if the and they just reappeared? There, what if so three entities that visited Christ were just three higher dimensional other you know species of beings, and they it's were giving the him some gifts? Like remember how Potter got all those gifts? The 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 thing the, oh. the cloak he got that you know these you know I, now that I see now that I know what that is the three symbols the the, the what is it the um the triangle the circle the triangle. And the square yeah yeah no not a square it's a it's a, just a stick oh, okay because it's the wands and it's the stone yeah and it's the cape yeah that's very alchemical that symbol what like like old alchemists you know like back mm. in the day would that, that's probably what it I probably means some other stuff right yeah for sure obviously jk rowling is not, not a fool you know from all the symbology she's put in her book she knows what she's talking about you know what I mean? mm. See, plus in britain bro trust me bro what I, one thing i learned about british people that's awesome that they all they're all in, they're all full on into the supernatural into the, the there's so much that yeah, going on they're into in england it. yeah that place king arthur that, and the that Galford. place where stonehenge is or well, actually not stonehenge but yeah stonehenge but where all the crop there is one specific part where all these crop circles you see and bro they're it's not english. they're all in one spot a lot of people think that it's like all over the world yeah, a, lot, a lot of people think that these crop circles that pop up in in britain are, are all over britain no they're in this one area and they constantly pop up and they're popping up there forever there's something different about this area you know what i'm saying what if that's like the energy patterns that they leave when they land i think it is you know but it's also it's clear they send messages that, you know sometimes yeah. people have decoded this shit and 
Those motherfuckers, the ones that can decode these, people need to like grab those people and and, and protect those dudes because if you understand that kind of knowledge, you got some knowledge in you. Well, you think that they are uh, they got some of the alien blood in them? They might. I mean, to understand that kind of shit, bro, come on, bro. That's not that's not even human. Remember, what, what was being written in those things has been proven. These are not, these are not, you know, it's... Because well, they're, they're not using, like, regular uh, Morse code and yeah, shit, right? Yeah, and, and when you take, and when and when you actually figure it out, they're actually tinted in 3D, but putting it on a piece of paper almost, bro. That's how insane it is. You know what I'm saying? That's bananas. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and there have been people proven that have been faking these, right? Like, there right, have been right. proven, that, but come on, some of the intricacies, well, not all of them. yeah, the intricacies you see in some of these, and you ain't doing that with no fucking not overnight, you know, this, you know remember signs, remember signs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, you ain't doing that like this, you know what I mean? I never, I only saw like scenes of signs where they, but they never saw the aliens, right? They just saw they under did. the door, they oh, they did see the aliens, yeah, they did. That was oh. the scariest part, man. That maybe, that, maybe man, I that, blocked it out, yeah. That motherfucker, bro, it was scary. I saw it in the movies, bro. I was not expecting this to be that scary. I was, it was a sci fi, right? Yeah, right. you know what I'm not saying, horror. yeah. And it was just crazy. That, yeah, great movie to see in theaters, great movie, period. You know what I'm saying? One of M. Night, in my opinion, like it's only that, maybe the sixth sense. And I think that's about it, bro, right? Right, that anybody should, should watch, Shyamalan. Yeah, that dude, he fell off hard. Yeah, that's what Hollywood would do to you, though. I guess, or so. I don't really know much about it. I know there was an episode of Warm Up, Sonny. Yeah, you know, you like conspiracy theory. Maybe maybe he knew that if he kept making these great movies, he was eventually going to have to get, get uh, or, or yeah, or get get sucked into this whole this whole other side of Hollywood, right? So that's why he did nothing but make these shitty movies mm, afterwards. Yeah, to save himself. He's like, they're not going to invite me anyway. I don't want to go all those things. Yeah, Fuck no. I made my two yeah. classics yeah. under my belt. I mean, just to be able to make a couple of classics, that's, you go down in history. I'm sure you're still making money. I'm trying to think of what is this in the Bible. The Burning Bush. Come on, man. What was the burning? Because I heard that was like a like a DMT or weed or something that that made the dude high. Steep. There's, it's either theories on that. Mm. There's theories on that. But like, I mean, come on, to just find a bush on fire in the middle of the road, it ain't gonna be no co-winky dink. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't burning. Yeah. It was just on fire. Yeah, right? that's it was. What I'm it saying. wasn't burning. Yeah, up. that's what I'm saying. It's like a hologram. That's what it will look like to you. Right, right, right. That's what these beings from other dimensions who don't move like. Okay. Oh, uh, because they just they could be energy. It would be like us, three D beings trying to trying to get on a piece of paper. They would. What would they see? They would just see us. What the fuck is that? They would. They would. They wouldn't know. see us. But as they a, think it's fine. They wouldn't see us as another person. They wouldn't see us as another stick figure because we're not another stick figure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty crazy, right? They, and we remember just like just like the guys in the Bible who I said. They had to describe these spaceships as as wheels because they don't know anything else at this time, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's we, why in Asian culture they call them dragons in the sky. Yeah, yeah, we can only describe we can only describe them as like yeah holograms. That's what we say holograms. And when you know that's not really what it is. It's just we don't have the word for whatever this other dimensional entity. Is. So what do you so what do you feel about Project Blue Beam then? What's that? That's that's the it's like a government research or it's government program where they can put like holograms in the sky and shit and it looks fucking realistic. Oh yeah. So Have they could fake yeah. an alien invasion yeah. if they want to. Yeah. Even though there is aliens, yeah. they could fake an alien invasion to yeah. unite everybody. Oh, yeah. I feel like they would try, but right. I feel like I feel like you know something would fuck up, it would glitch or something or I think a lot of a lot of people would eventually see you know find, see what's going on. You know, think about how social media works. You know what I'm saying? Think about how you know. Think about how quick. Well, so 9/11, right? There's a theory that a that hologram. wasn't even it was a hologram, yeah. and then they just used nukes. Yeah, just listen, yeah. Right. Like, I so say, what if they do that? Like, yeah, because they got lasers that they were yeah. using in California. California. Yeah. So they could just put a hologram and then just put a fake laser from a, I mean a real laser from like a satellite weapon there you see yeah. and just fake this alien invasion. Yeah. That did, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't aliens. Yes. But I used to think that means that oh, okay, it's not. That means it's all fake. Yeah, but you have a lot of everybody, and you ain't gonna get everybody alive. Once again, this is why nine eleven came out. You know what I'm saying? There's right. Tight lips if nine eleven would have happened in yeah. 2020, it would have been like yeah, it, a week, a week. People would have been like Turn control apart. demolition. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like a week, bro. A week. I diced it up. Yeah. There's so many people yeah. at home just waiting so to So many conspiracy dudes would have been done up by now if the internet existed, bro. Fahrenheit 9-11 would have been a movie. It would have been like yeah. a video. J JFK wouldn't have existed. That, that The whole thing would have gotten solved. It would have gotten solved. You know, some people would have found out that, oh, this is really happening. Look, here's the evidence. You know, here's, here's, who, here's obviously who's covering it up. You know, but now, 
You know, because back then, you know, if you got the power of money, you can shut everybody up. And you control the media. Yeah. But and there was now, only two, so, three sources of media, radio, yeah. television, and, and now, newspaper. And yeah, now it's, it's just as, it's the same, you know, it's the same thing. Like, you know, a few entities own everything, but at the same time, there's too much information to hide and to keep in stock. And the internet is just like a constant fan, like, you know, like, poof, 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 poof. it's a black hole of information. Right. It's just spitting it out constantly. You can't right. stop it. So... You know, once you do the deed, you know, it's only a matter of time before something comes out. They'd stop it in China. Yeah. It would have to, be, yeah, it would have to be, it would have to be two individuals involved and nobody else for, for never to ever be found out. Because, you know, two people do something, all right, man, it's a plot, you know, whatever. But three people, now it's a conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even Epstein shit, I was going to say that earlier, because we were talking about December 24th. Just Lane Maxwell, all that shit's been kind of hushed a little bit. There's got to be something boiling over with that. Yeah, they probably want it to be that way. Vanessa Guillen, I feel like there's got to be something that's going to come out of that. It's like a plot line, like a, a plot line that hasn't been finished yet. That I feel like it's coming in maybe next season, 2021 or some shit. Remember the Hispanic chick that got I was found? And I there was like other soldiers around that place and then, you know, the tunnels and it's yeah, just... some other soldiers got killed there a, couple, a month ago, I think, too. Another soldier was found dead over there for a really. Yeah. Yeah, man, like they're just going like wildfire over there and... It does sound like no one seems to no one seems to care, but I think it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this. But well, think about it. Think about what holds up some of these investigations, and think about what's going on right now, and think about the implications of what's going on right now. For example, if if somehow, some way, like some people, <coughs> you know, if, if Biden wins, some people, some people, well, Biden, because according to some people, already won the election. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure Biden is sworn in. Now uh, he he might make some of this shit just go away. You know, he'll, he'll, oh yeah, he'll, he'll, so they're he'll, probably holding off as yeah, long as they yeah, can. He'll, and he'll make the Vanessa Guillen thing go away. You know, as usual, you know the Hunter Biden thing go away. You know, he didn't know what he was doing. That's fake. It's China, the Chinese plotted all this. You know, yeah, they, you know, they see the Russians. Yeah, so, yeah. They blame the Russians. Yeah, basically. Isn't yeah. it weird? Like we're like in the '80s movie where the Russians and the Chinese are the bad. Well, the Chinese were never really bad guys, right? It was always the Russians yeah. because of the Cold War. Yeah. We never really had and beef even, until recently. And, and even recently, it was always North Korea that we tried to make mm. uh, that we tried to make the bad guys. Remember, remember, was it North Korea the ones from that from the Red Dawn? We the, the remake. Oh, I don't know about Red Dawn. I just know that Seth Rogen and James Franco made that stupid ass. Oh movie. yeah, and apparently that was because of some shit. Some shit went down, bro. Like, yeah, that was remember, well, probably because of the Sony leaks. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, bro. See, there's that there's weird. there's a lot of shit that we haven't big pictured it yet. You know what I'm saying? Right. We just we just know it as little little. But later, somebody's yeah, eventually yeah, gonna yeah, connect yeah, it. Yeah, little splashes in the water. Like now, you find out. Wait a minute. So that whole movie was just made on about some bullshit. Yeah, they did it to cover something up. Oh wow, you know. And then you find out what's big enough to cover up to make a whole movie about. Oh, this whole Sony leak. What's so big about it? See, because all they all we saw was the. Uh, well, no, that was the cloud leak, right? Where all those the news, the news, news the, yeah. the fappening. But that has something to do with it too. Yeah, bro, I feel like that might have been covered before it really came out. Cause think about it. A lot of people don't know this, but when the whole Bill Clinton impeachment, the whole the whole Monica Lewinsky thing came up. That only came up because they were they they were about to find out that Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton had been had doing businessmen doing business with China with China and selling mm. them and selling them a lot of shit here in, in the United States like you know giving them a lot of the shit good. they shouldn't have access to right mm. and this was covered up by the Monica Lewinsky scandal you know what I'm saying the major in the news to take away the yeah <clears throat> the attention yeah, yeah a lot of people don't even don't even know that. I feel like I've heard that. I didn't. I didn't I know, know that until like three weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, you know the way. Yeah, the way this shit works is pretty. Just these people do anything to cover shit up, bro. You know? Yeah. I mean, even Chris Rock said that. Well, yeah, he's joking, but one that they would use Michael Jackson and shit. They'd be like, "Hey, yo, the government, we kind of fucked up a little bit. We're gonna say you touched the kid again." He was like, "All right." Yeah, I mean, we, we should we should go investigate what was going on that last time he went on trial and got off. You know what I'm saying? Man, who knows, bro? Who knows? Oh, <laughs> dude, I, this is a we're going way off. Like, yeah, so so uh, that's that's twenty minutes, that's thirty minutes right there. But we we went over possible aliens in the Bible. Yeah. 
We went over conspiracies, uh, a like conspiracies. a some bitch. You might as well call this the conspiracy episode. It is the odd pod, though. Yeah. It, it took a while for us to get into conspiracy. I think we held yeah. off for a while, though. Well, we hold yeah. on to episodes for a while. We apologize if you're a, if you're an avid listener, one of the one of the one of the people that listens to us on the reg. Uh, we're sorry for being so lame, so but, absent. Yeah, but, but a lot of shit's been going on personal personal life wise. But you know what? A you know, move. It's going good. It's going work. good now. Work, yeah. And hopefully now we'll get back on a steady schedule. We'll, we'll drop more shit. You know what I mean? I'll All right. Talk, talk a little more. But I, I, I just meant that because we never really got into conspiracies throughout the thirty episodes. The we first did it. Did Damn, we? that's crazy, bro. I, don't, I mean, not not like you tell me not we like went, we did on this episode. We went thirty minutes. Sometimes these episodes were thirty minutes to an hour. Thirty episodes, of, yeah. And we maybe we did, but I, don't, I think we because every time like there was a couple times where I would try to bring it up and y'all were like, "Nah, let's not talk about that yet." I see. Well, uh, this is the episode. Fuck it. <laughs> the conspiracy episode. We got anything else? And it's been a. It's been about a year since we've been doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck it. You got experience you want to throw out there? <laughs> nah, I just want to say. I don't think Epstein killed himself. The who? Epstein's not dead. That's my Bro, conspiracy. That's, 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 yeah. This guy is probably the biggest trafficker the world, the modern world has ever known. This guy himself controlled MSN, controlled Disney, controlled politicians, controlled actors, controlled sports people people don't know people don't <coughs> know. royalty yes fucking bro. king okay fucking fuck, princess. fuck united states this dude probably had world domination you know what i'm saying just because and people are like well what did he do what did he give of all kids yes he gave them all kids to fuck but he also would record them without them knowing it mm. so now if you try to do anything or you do anything that he doesn't like or he needs you to do something you don't want to do it Oh, this just happens to leak. It's probably a kill switch too. Yeah. So if he died, there probably would have been a leak. Yeah. Like so, red, like yeah. to blacklist. Yeah, I mean, dude, if you control, <laughs> bro, like I said, people can't can't fathom how much this guy controlled. And if you control that much, yeah, you don't just die and oh willy nilly it's over. I mean, and you don't just catch the guy who, like I said, is the biggest trafficker probably Put in, him in some New York, and just and just let him sit there in a the cell by himself and get strangled. You don't do that. Right. You don't. And do no, that. no. The, dimension yeah. no I mean, world no alternate universe it's way more con- it's way more convenient to have the most of the world think he's dead yeah go ahead and argue that he's not whatever at least at least you're not at least you're not in here you know looking right now right. you're not looking for him so what do you what do you think they're doing right now with oh man i think this dude is gonna, i think he's gonna give if he hasn't given it up he might, watch watch <laughs> i mean some, some you know just queuing on people what if what if what if epstein is cute no, i'm playing not <laughs> 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 My God, that would make us all mad. Like, look who the Q was. Oh, uh, like, they like, would turn it. Yeah, like wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, oh damn. Now nah, Q may have flipped them or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you think know. about it. it, it it's like or one, used him. It's like it, it's like it's like one other thing. People, people, people dots connected. So Hugh Hefner, the Playboy guy, dies, and all of a sudden, all of these shits are coming out of Hollywood about the who, Me Too movement. Yeah, the Me Too movement starts. This guy probably was a high level, not just Hollywood dude, but a, a government in, in person. Oh yeah. Who probably I mean, he was cut into his He was probably yeah. also another trafficker. You know, like there's people that there people individuals say that there's a lot of tunnels under 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 the Playboy the Mansion. Playboy Mansion. Oh. And you know what? If you want to traffic children, <clears throat> what better cover than a place where there's supposed to be nothing but bitches walking around? Yeah, like why would he have kids? Yeah, why, all yeah, the best yeah, women yeah, in the world. Yeah, think He's about like, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, bro, that's, that's, that's pretty wicked. Yeah, see, and and that's sort of what what, true. what these conspiracies make you do. They make you question everything. But that's good and bad, right? It is. You, don't you, trust, yeah. you become a red red. But it's okay. You become Red Reddington, shout out to Black. Yeah, Black. by the way, Red Reddington is the main character, or one of the main characters of the show that we got into called The Blacklist. On Netflix. If, if you're into this episode so far, I recommend you go watch this show. This show is right on with all these conspiracies we've been talking about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Minus the Bible way, shit. Way ahead of his time. Yeah, yeah, there's no Bible stuff. Yeah, there's no Bible stuff. Well, there, there's one episode with that, the, uh, the, 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 cult? the cult. Oh, that, that's different. Yeah, but that, and that's one of my fa- like worst quotes from the old testament i feel like the old testament's a lot weirder than the new right because the old testament there's like that one part where the where the and that they quoted this guy who wants to do it with his daughters and shit and it's this dude who gets the people drunk and stuff his daughters get him drunk 
to repopulate and shit or whatever. Anyhow, that's yeah. that, that that's sort of what they talk about in the that's blacklist. It, but <laughs> you, 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 but you. the rest is like, whoa, like it's like yeah. conspiracy. Yeah, you'll dig it. You'll so, dig it. Yeah. If you if you're still with us and you're following the conversation, you should go watch the blacklist. In fact, if you know us in person, we'll watch it. Which <laughs> damn, you got to catch up though. Yeah, we're, I think we're on season two, like halfway through. Or almost done. Hey, hey we watch it with Romo. Hey, can you plug this in real quick, please? Yeah. Thank you. Shout uh, you got Romo. His... He needs to get back on the episode soon. Uh, cons- yeah, bro. This one... Or he needs to get on his episode. Shout out to the historian. One episode in. <laughs> Damn. Much, much awaited. All right. Well, that's... that's uh, we'll be back soon. That's it for the conspiracy episode? I think that was a good... There'll probably be more. There'll oh, probably be yeah. more. Oh, yeah. If, you, if, you're, if you're paying attention, if you're awake, and if you're a human in this world, there's a lot of conspiracy. If this on. episode gets more than 50 views, we'll do another conspiracy episode. If not, we're still going to do a Harry Potter episode coming What's soon. What's the most views we got on an episode? I say 50, like, like we could even get that. Uh, I, I got to look probably... It's like one of the first ones. I got to look back at it. What was it? I want to say at least 50. All right. Well, if we get 20... Be to 20. And in what amount of time? I don't care. Okay. I don't care. If we get t- <laughs> I'm going to go home and watch it 19 times. <laughs> if, we, if we get 20 views on the conspiracy episode, we'll do another one sometime. Yeah. All right. Anyhow, All right. that's it for this one. See y'all later. Much love. Yay, yay.